I am so excited. We are getting a couple of days of some cooler rainy weather. So I am on the comfort food train yet again, and I'm gonna use that stove so hard, it's not gonna know what hit it. When I think comfort food, I kind of want pasta. And I remember looking through uh, some of my cookbooks and I landed on, again, the Molly Boz cook this book. You should really get this book. Wanted to make something that I did recall seeing and definitely marked the page. If you have this book, the page is 144 and it is the orzo alemone or like lemon orzo to us peasants. I'm going to pretty much stick to the recipe. I'm just tweaking a couple of things because it's what I do. It's reminding me a lot of risotto, which is one of my favorite things, but this is gonna take a lot less time because it's orzo. And who doesn't love pasta? So I have got all of my mise en place ready to go. I will show you what we're working with and then make it on over to the stove. I have some orzo here, one lemon zested, and I also have a couple of strips here, one onion diced, Parmesan cheese, butter, and the recipe calls for water, but I'm just gonna use some chicken stock that I had and salt and pepper, and then we're good to go. I had to turn the light on. It was getting too dark in here, <laughs> but I've just got my Dutch oven over here heating to medium heat. I'm just gonna throw some butter in here. Into this butter, I'm gonna add my onion and let this soften just a little bit. I don't want it to turn brown, but I do want it to just kind of soften, get a little translucent. This will take five or so minutes. I've got my onion pretty much all sweat out. To this, I'm going to add my little strips of lemon zest. Give it a quick little toss so it gets coated and everything. And I'm gonna add my orzo. And I'm gonna stir this around and toast it just for a few minutes. Get it all coated in all of that oil. Oh my gosh, this smells so stinking good already. Now that we've been toasting just for a few minutes, I'm gonna add my stock. Give this a stir, so you wanna make sure that orzo does not stick to the bottom. So we're gonna be stirring this pretty often, but you wanna bring this up to a simmer. And then once it's up to a simmer, lower the heat a little bit and just make sure the orzo is cooked. You can check the back of the package. It should take less than 10 minutes, but just keep an eye on it. You don't want it to dry out too much and just keep stirring. Starting to simmer, starting to bubble. I'm gonna lower the heat and let it go until we can taste this orzo and it's gonna be nice and soft. It shouldn't be crunchy should just be a little al dente, but we are not near that point yet, so don't worry about it. Most of this liquid will be evaporated when the pasta is cooked. You don't want it dry. You want it still a little bit wet and like kind of sloshy, but don't dry it out. And as this cooks, it's just gonna get creamier and creamier because of all the starch that's in there. And I imagine that this is going to be top notch. It's getting thicker. We are almost there. I think probably another minute or so. This looks so velvety and luxurious from all the starch from the pasta. And the smell of this lemon coming through is just out of control. But definitely make sure to stir this because it will stick. Make sure you stir the sauce. You don't want it to stick. What movie is that from? Might be there. I'm gonna just taste a little bit. Oh, that's done. Perfect. I'm gonna take it off the heat, bring it over to the counter and finish it off. Look how creamy and thick that is. All of that liquid, pretty much all the liquid has been absorbed. The pasta is cooked perfectly. That's what I'm talking about. Now to finish this off, I'm going to add the rest of the butter and the rest of the lemon that I zested and the Parmesan cheese. Just mix this all in. It is like velvet. Look how pretty that is. 
and the smell of that lemon zest just hitting the heat like that is so good. Get you a closer look at this, but you can see how creamy and just like luscious that is. I've got my concoction right here. Oh, listen to that. It's good pasta, you know? Come on. Oh, it's like silk running into my body. It's so creamy and soft and those flavors. Ow, you don't mean to chew. Wow. If you love lemon, yes. If you love pasta, yes. If you just love to be comforted by food, yes. This is so good. It's perfect as a dinner or as I'm having it, a little side. I'm gonna have some chicken and asparagus and it's just perfect. Once again, Molly Baz has done it. You have to make this. Enjoy.